Well, hello everyone and welcome to the first part of this Let's Play X4. Um, it's my first Let's Play X4 I've done in a long time. I really, really loved this game years ago. And I played the hell out of it and then I kind of got bored of it around the same time as I found Star Citizen. And then Star Citizen filled the space niche for me. But there is, there is one thing that Star Citizen is never going to have that X has. And that is the fact that it's a single player game and you can control AI at a whim in X. The AI may not be very intelligent, it may literally act like automatons, not actual like living parts of the universe, but it has something that Star Citizen won't ever have, I don't think. Um, so yeah. Um, I love Star Citizen, I love X, but let's get back. I don't want to discuss the two, you can love both. Not trying to put the two against each other, I feel like they're completely different niches. I've went off on a tangent, which we're going to just now completely ignore. X, we're here to play X. So, what I have done is I have given myself a wee bit of a head start, and the way I plan to play this is... Oh, look, at shit flying away. Um, the way I plan to kind of play this is I'll do a couple of parts, I'll do lots of grinding, like, off-screen, and then I'll do a couple of parts, and I'll do lots of grinding off-screen. So this is going to be both a Let's Play campaign and a single-player campaign, so to speak, for me. Um, I'm going to hop, up, hop off the ship. Yeah, the one thing I hate about this game that Star Citizen does really well is uh, like, the interior of the ship is this little cabin and that little crew bit you've seen up there. This whole huge ship, roughly the same size as Star Citizen's Caterpillar, and that's all you get. Whereas Star Citizen, every little nook and cranny. So yeah, there is things that obviously each game do differently and do better than the other. But yeah, now we'll hop off that. And I'll give you a brief overview of what we've got. Because I've given myself a wee head start, as I mentioned before. So this was the Entre Entrepreneur Star, I think it was. But basically, you start down here with a scout ship, this little factory, and a trading ship. And I went and got the scout ship blown up almost at, right at the start because I was a numpty. And uh, since then, I've gained another trade ship and four miners and a new scout ship. So yeah, like, uh, here is our original station. I've not added to it yet, so it's still just the original starting station, which I can show you is right here in the plan build. So yeah, it's literally just like a flower farm and a storage unit, and that's it. So it buys water and energy cells, and it turns them into flowers to sell to make the food for this alien race that I am part of. And so yeah, I do want to upgrade this station relatively soon, add some more storage to it, and add some solar panels so it can start making its own energy cells instead of having to need them for the production. So that is on early on our planned to-do list. Uh, I've also, the second trading ship, I've assigned it to work for this station, so whenever this station needs energy credits or water, you can see it's also asking here to buy them from NPCs uh, for 16 credits for an energy cell, 56 credits for a unit of water, and then it's selling them for 111, but it's also got a trading ship, so it doesn't need to wait for people to come to it, it can send the trading ship out. I've seen it send the trading ship up to over here where there's an ice refinery it's sent up there to buy some water relatively recently so yep there's that so that's two of my star and stuff you also notice i've laced satellites around the place pretty early on it's a great thing to do it's early game a big deal got all these satellites everywhere so i've got up-to-date information we're going to keep doing that but again we're just giving ourselves a head start because if that's all I was doing, you would find it incredibly boring. So uh, I've got this area fully scouted and fully satellite -ed. I've got this area, I started doing it, but it was getting destroyed by uh, enemy NPCs, so I stopped. Uh, this area is mainly done. I've just got to scout around the edges in case there's a few outliners. Uh, this area is all scouted and satellite -ed. Same, I've showed just there. And uh, here's satellite aid. Here's scout aid and satellite aid. Oh look, an enemy miner. Then I've got blah, 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 blah. two mining ships down here mining silicon and selling it to the refineries to make me money. They're being the bulk of my income right now. 
and two mining ships down here getting uh, me methane to sail to the griefing places so and there's my little scout ship there so yeah, we've had a head start, because I've actually managed to make myself a wee bit money with that initial trade ship, and then started buying some mineral mining ships to make me more money. Um, I thought I'll quickly talk about what my ultimate goals are going to be for now. We've already allied with this faction here, this purple one, and I'm going to ally with this green faction here too, because that will give me a good portion of the map. Obviously, I've not scouted out and got all the sectors unlocked on the map yet, but there's a huge chunk of sectors we've not scouted out here. That will give us about a quarter of the map. There'll be nice, good space for me to trade and do all sorts of things to make my money. And it's also where the player base, the player base is about here somewhere on the map, I think. When I do unlock that, I don't know if I'll do that on or off screen, um, we'll have, we'll already be allied in that area. And then there's a couple of unowned sectors somewhere around here. My goal was going to be earn those unowned sectors and then build up forces, become a faction in my own right. And then maybe go to war with this pink faction and conquer all of their land. We'll see, but for now, we just really need to make money. We can't do anything without making more money. So uh, I've hopped off my ship trading ship here because I want to get it back to doing some trades for me. Well, manually, because I'm pretty sure he only has skill level 2 still. Pilot skill is 2 yen, and he's free to do trading on his own. So he's not a good enough AI yet. Yeah, so let's just find him some trades to do. This place is always needing hull components, and I'm pretty sure there's some areas that sell them somewhere nearby. So if we just find one. Because he's already done his job of porting me up here, because I wanted to be here, personally. Hull parts factory, right. They're selling there for 261. I'm pretty sure he buys them for 270, son. So at least then that'll just make me a split. That'll be bit of money pretty fast. And it'll bring them back pretty soon too. Explosive materials can be hazardous. Confirmed it. That's him coming doing a little trade run on his own. Right, as he's off, I'm here on the station because we now have the Oh no 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 wait. Can I get out? I forgot what the sprint button is. Oh well, there's a teleporter just over here anyway. With that fence going up, can I still get out? Run! How do I get out? Eh. Oh no! Oh no, oh no! Can I get out of this side? I think I can get out of this side. Yeah. I'm sure there was a sprint button, but I can't remember what it is. Oh well, we'll walk slowly. You know what? As I'm walking, I want to get my scout a scouting for me. He's sitting doing nothing at the moment. So this area here, right, let's deploy a resource probe there. A resource probe there. To start getting some satellites around here too so I've got up-to-date information on what these things are selling at what prices at all times and my AI will really need that information when they go to trade around too let's keep my satellite network being upgraded that's just a defense platform Sally there too. Visitors, and once he's done that, let's tell him to fly there, up there. We'll just make sure there's nothing else in this sector around the outskirts. There we go, that's orders for my scout done. Now actually as well, I did notice just before we did a part. Oh, 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 no, 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 don't want to do that, remove that order. Let's say one of my little ships there is full of silicon on its way to go sell it to make me some money. That'll be some of the profits you see there due. Um, I did want to also start building... Oh, hello. A raiding party, a raiding ship. I'm going to need to get myself a military ship relatively soon too. Because I'm already allied with this faction, I can get their... Uh, 
We're gonna get some corvettes and stuff. But for now, I want some uh, more miners. I want two more miners. Because I'm wanting a sil there's some silicon refineries and there's some ore refineries in this sector that I could start supplying as well and that'd make me some money. So if I've made this little preset here already for the other ones I made, which um, has an upgraded mining laser, a couple of defensive turrets, upgraded engines and thrusters and shields. It's basically the creme de la creme, or like I've, yeah, I've got a full crew too. Um, basically just extra, because it's no matter what I'm going to be making money, like I can't lose money from mine and stuff, I thought I'll just make it as peak efficiency as possible. There probably is a point, a couple of upgrades I probably shouldn't be buying it, like maybe these turrets are kind of pointless because even if it gets in a fight they're not really going to help it much. Um, maybe if it had a fighter escort, the turrets would help because then the fighter would have a good advantage having these turrets as backup. But yeah, kind of. There probably is a less, more money efficient way to build these and still make just as much money. But eh, oh well. I'm not going to lose, so yeah, we'll add that to shopping list. And I want two of them. Do I have enough money for two of them at the moment? I don't think I do. Not enough money. We are 60,000 credits short. We're bound to be getting close to that. We'll tell to build one for now. Confirm order. Yeah. Ma oh, is that my trading ship back from that trading run I sent it? If it lands here, that'd be great because the gate would definitely be open, but I kind of don't want to get crushed. Is this my trading ship or is this someone else's? Oh no, this is someone else's. And see, because that's not my logo. Well, that should definitely open the gate. Yep, that opened the gates. Right, I need to get out before the gates close. I'm just gonna. Oh, that was good timing. That was a good thing. I'm gonna be back in a second. Just wanna check on something. Alright, my doggo needed a PP, but that's all done. Oh, look, a ship over there has been built. Interesting. Right. Now we're here. I can finally go do. I think it's the management office I need. Are you the person I Hello. need? Hello. Greetings. Nope, it's not you. It to you. It's not you I need. Oh, the game is also saving. I thought I had the renown ready to get a promotion from this people to allow me to get the police license. Oh, I'm gonna to have to pay for the police license here too. So it's not the manager's office. Hmm. I don't think it's the security office. No, it's almost definitely not the security Good office. Good profit to you. Huh. Right, let me just take a look at my missions. Repairs required. Oh, yeah, that's the yeah, yeah. wrong thing. This promotion. And T Simons. Okay, this is definitely not okay. I'm in the wrong place. I'm gonna to need to go onto my trade ship. Which is coming into dock right now, so that's handy. This is the wrong station. I thought it was the right one. But it's not. Look at the ship dealer ship. Don't know where my ship's gonna dock here, but at least we'll be able to see it coming in. It's not my ship, it's someone's trading little courier. Right, where is my ship? Where is it coming in from? I need someone to carry me! Is that there? Maybe my ship. 
It's the right silhouette. Oh wait, no wait, that's red, that's got red, I think that's my ship there. Coming in. So we're waiting on it, let's take a look and see if my ship I ordered has been finished being built. It has. Brilliant, the first one's finished. Yeah, I don't think it has because it doesn't have its pass. There we go. Captain, I think that's it finished. Information, let's uh, give it its orders. Let's want it to auto mine. Silicon in the sector you're in, confirm. It should take off and start mining silicon over here and sell it to this refinery. That was my ship, there it is there. Going to land over there, so let's uh, jump in this elevator. Down we go. Right, here's the Travelator! God, I love Travelators. Let's get this bad boy to deliver us to where it is we do need to go. It's got a big Mark III engines. I have upgraded all my ships, all my little, my Star and Trade ship and all that, all upgraded to... Again, may not be the most money efficient thing, but because there's no upkeep type stuff, I thought no harm in it. Right, I'm on board. Let's give them orders to fly to where I do need to go now, though. Mission manager. If I want it to be active. Where'd I go? There should be like an orange line tell me where to go. And I don't see it. Aha! Here it is. I was looking in the wrong place. Let's grab our ship. You. And it is. Just here's where it's telling me to go? Is it tell me to go there because. Fitting you to the instance to their headquarters, talk to Gratios and Mesos and Right, I do not know where that is. So we may wait till between parts to do that so I can look at a map and work out where it is I need to go. And I'm guessing it's telling me to go there because there is no thing to go yet, type thing, words, good. So let's just give you a trade and mission to do the now. Let's run. I think the most profitable trade run I've found so far was the advanced electronics, which I bought down here. But it is because I've been doing it a lot. It was originally a thousand to buy these. I'm just, every time I do it, it's getting less and less. I'm going to have to find a new profitable mission to do and then on our way back as well we'll pick up some weapon components here with the rest of our cargo space oh where's weapon components oh they're not they don't have any they're sold out okay well we'll screw the weapon components we'll fly back to here and then we'll sell them sell the advanced electronics it's only 30,000 credits we're now getting. It was like 100,000 credits I was getting before. That's given him a mission. And we're taking off and we're in space! For a little pilot, I could fly it, but when you've got an AI to fly it for you, where's the fun in that? Off we go. 
Right, and I got that silicon miner. Let's uh, buy another miner. Do my preset that I designed earlier. Where it's basically anything and everything. It did do the crew right. Yeah, because the crew is important for miners, if memory serves. Form the order. And then we'll get that one doing ore. So now I've got these two areas pretty fleshed out, making me lots of money. Let's take a look and see how you're doing, actually. Information, how are you doing? Mm, you don't have any money to give me the one. Entering system, right promise. Ooh. Entering system, Trinity Sanctum. These little highways just travel so fast. Let's see how our scout's doing. Entering system. You can see why I wanted to get us a head start as well, because you could we could have just done it where you uh, I was just flying around in my little start start our fighter or scout ship doing missions trying to make money Entering system. but the whole point of this I game isn't it. flying around doing missions it's like the management aspect it's the one thing this game has that is very rare in other games so you deployed all our satellites here in here so what refineries is there here refined goods no it's buying silicon selling silicon oh wait it's buying silicon we can maybe get a silicon ship here, at least one trader. Well, there's a resource, there's the barium, ore, and silicon. And up here, what resources was it? There was the barium, ore, silicon, and ice. Yeah, there's a silicon refinery there, that's good. Let's go supplies, solar power plant. I only see silicon refineries. Refined goods. Or, no, there's an ore one. Refined goods. So there's two ore, two silicon. So maybe we'll get two of each four mining ships here. This area should, there should be enough refineries to keep that afloat. I think there was two ore ones here as well, wasn't there? Maybe we'll get a second ore one here too. Again, that's going to be a lot of money, but then money should start accumulating faster. As soon as I'm already have a license with these guys, if I wanted a carrier, oh, ah, I'm not high enough for that. I'm only high enough for the. Am I high enough for the large? Nope, I'm not even big enough for the destroyer class ships. I don't really like this faction's destroyers or big ships anyway. They look too much like a ray gun. The ship will be undocking soon. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, we're not going to be getting any large ships here. But I need to start thinking about what military ship I want to buy too. Do uh, first of all, do I want to just buy the premium military grade fighter? Or do I want to buy the frigate? The frigate does have a space for a fighter on top, so maybe I'll get the fighter and then buy the frigate. And the fighter can then just become part of this eventually. So I'll start off with the fighter, then I'll get this. Then I'll upgrade it to three lots of them, then I'll get a carrier ship, and then. You can see the sort of growth there. But how much would this cost me though if I wanted to get a good right? So if we got beam on all the turrets. Beam turrets on all the turret slots. The guns, let's get yeah, we've got beams on the turrets, let's get Mark II bolt repeaters on the guns. Daka daka daka. Shields, definitely gonna want the best shields. Oh, this one there. 
Well, there's another shield slot. I didn't even notice those the three. Thrusters, combat mark three. Uh, travel uh, engines. Let's do combat mark threes. Three of them, three combat mark three engines. Entering system. Three, four point three million. Yeah, that's rather expensive. So definitely not going to be buying one of these anytime soon. That's a hell of a lot of firepower as well. The one thing I don't like about this Entering is how system. all the turrets Three are on one seconds. side. So if a fighter gets below you, you're kind of screwed unless fighter you can sort of... I, suppose, I wonder if you can barrel around faster than it can stay underneath you. Let's see. And then if I wanted to get... I've got the. I definitely don't want to get the civilian grade fighter. Because I've got the license for the military grade one, so I definitely want to go with the military grade one. How much would this cost me? Uh, two Combat Mark III engines. So that should be slightly cheaper because of that. Combat Mark III them. Shields. There's only one shield to buy as well. The Mark III shield. Guns. Let's do. Okay, the guns. Hmm. Two Mark II beams, which I want on the outside ones, and then let's do the plasma cannon. The middle. I don't really like the look of the plasma cannon, actually, a lot, so... Some of this stuff's new, I don't even remember it in Mass Driver. We'll do the Mass Driver Mark II then. Right, software, we'd give it... Uh, I'd be flying it, so we'll give it a docking computer. Actually, you know what, I never use it anyway. I always buy it for if I'm flying it, just so I can be lazy and let it auto-dock. But I never use it, so I don't know why. I pay for it. Oh, wow, those engines are huge. Right, crew, we'd give it a pilot just in case, and that is 3.3 .3 million, so that's only 1 million cheaper. We may go for the bigger ship then. We may go for the bigger ship indeed. Right, how much money have I got? <laughs> only half a mil, but we do have half a mil incoming from our trade soon. Oh, and our little ship here has finished. We know that's our trade ship. With a buy ship. I've already got... Yeah, I've already got a ship in the order. It needs more hull parts. So that's good timing. This station doesn't have enough hull parts to build our stuff. So... Pretty sure there's somewhere selling hull parts somewhere over here. We'll give our trading ship that I'm sitting on. An order. There it is. Come over here. Trade... Buy all the hull parts you can. They're expensive because it's not that much, but I'm doing it mainly just to get my mining ship finished. And this place will be that desperate for them that it'll probably still give me a profit. 15,000. There we go. I really can't wait for this guy to get up to skill level 3 so I can just tell him to oh, go off, just trade on your own so I don't have to micromanage him. Just go off, trade, make me profit. Happy days. I suppose this will be the first part. We'll make another part now, then I'll play this game a lot between part two and three to get us a wee bit more advanced and get us up there. All that stuff. Oh, well, looks like our scout has finished off scouting around here. Happy days. Oh, he's just finishing. So we'll get him to scout around somewhere else. Oh, and between parts, I can find out where we need to go for that mission too. So I hope you've all enjoyed this. I shall see you all in the next part. And if you have anything you want me to do, any recommendations, uh, let me know. Well, if you anything you want me, you want me to be piloting a lot, doing a lot of fighter stuff, or if you want me to get involved in a war sooner to try and make some money, or whatever you want, we can really do. Because as I said, my goal is sort of pretty open-ended, like. There's lots of different ways to make money. There is a new expansion which I just uh, 
got the DLC for, which uh, adds in salvage. If you want to see some of the salvage, I don't know. Let me know. And really let me know anything. Yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this. See you on the next part, which will be recorded before I can t take any of that advice to that uh, part. I'll see you all there. Bye, see, bye.